friends, Shalom from Jerusalem. I'm here with Pastor Mike. And once again, uh, it's an amazing story and amazing opportunity to uh, talk with Pastor Mike, but yes. also let him to share his heart because Pastor Mike, you came to Israel yes. during the war. Yes. Many, many friends. I mean, some friends said they did come and many, they had to cancel their trips, they should come. Uh, but you are here during the war. And by the way, any minute, Lebanon war could start and then it will be even challenging to fly out. Uh, but you are here with us. And, and, and first of all, I want to tell you from my heart, you know, thank you for doing that. Thank you for coming. For our people, it really means a lot, yeah. you know, to see people with, uh, even risking their lives, but coming to stand with Israel. Uh, it's really, really, really a wonderful expression of support. But uh, please tell my friends, my Israeli friends, our international friends, uh, why are you here? What draws you? Uh, what? How do you see Israel? Please share your testimony. Well, you know, Pastor Israel, it's exciting to be here right now. And yeah, it's it's a time of conflict in many ways. But um, as I was telling you before, it's really supernatural. It's supernatural because uh, as a believer and a pastor myself, God has Israel on his heart, very much so. And uh, one of the things that drove us to be here right now it was not only to support Israel but also to come and learn more about the land in person and um, you know I was talking to my wife about coming here and we both agreed that we cannot a allow what the enemy tries to do and intimidate people from uh, our assignment so Israel is part of our assignment not just biblically as a church and a believer but just personally I mean um, God really had it emphasized on my heart to be here and honestly, I just go where God says to go. I did not sense at all God said it was a, a bad time to come. And, um, and I, in fact, I thought more so that it was a strategic time to come. Because always in the middle of conflict, there are open doors and opportunities that prior to that are not available. So while some people look at it as maybe a time of holding plans back, we are looking at it as a time of great opportunity. Because, you know, the devil... He, He's going to try many different ways to keep the gospel from advancing mm -hmm. and for people to, from connecting. Um, and so, yes, even though I know the risk that is involved, I think uh, not advancing the gospel is more risky. Mm -hmm. And so more risky than any natural war would be to allow the enemy to stop the progress of the gospel. And so anyway, that's I don't know if I'm uh, I'm not crazy, but I'm just. I'm divinely motivated. I believe God has uh, got many open doors right now. We just have to be aware of it. So I'm excited to be here with you. Wonderful. So question. Yes. We're walking downtown Jerusalem. Yes. That's the Ben Yehuda Street, uh, one of the most central streets in Israel. And we see people around. Uh, what could you say? What would you say to our international friends? How do you feel here? Do you feel safe? Do you feel <laughs> injured? Well, what is first of all, we just had an amazing lunch. Not too far from here. We're walking now. I was telling Pastor and our team here, I was saying, you know, if you haven't told me there was a war, I wouldn't even know because the Israeli people, number one, are very resilient people, um, very special people. And, um, you know, number two, I feel like the precautions and the things that um, Israel takes in times like this is to keep things moving forward. And so I, if you didn't tell me, I wouldn't know um, because I believe that... Um, the, the nation not, not only knows how to handle itself, but it knows how to keep things moving forward in a, in a difficult time. So I, I feel, we, we feel great. We haven't had a, we in fact, by ourselves, me and my colleague here, we walked through the old city yesterday by ourselves. We walked around and we don't really know the area, but we had no issues. Friendly people, wonderful place, um, beautiful weather, beautiful sun. So we feel great, feel amazing. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful, praise the Lord. So you see, and, and I, I think it's a miracle of Israel. Yeah. Like even during the war, yeah. the side of really war zone, when it's all happened, you don't feel the war, right? Yeah. You feel peace, you feel... Uh, and it wasn't always like that. You know, when October 7th started, uh, even when rockets stopped flying from Gaza, uh, we felt really the atmosphere of war. Yes. It was difficult to get back to normal life. But eventually Israel made it, made the steps, and now uh, some guys are fighting, others are working, yeah. and uh, keeping... keeping the, Keeping just life, you know, keeping living together. Well, you know, right now we're in Jerusalem, but a couple of days ago I was in your city. I was in Ashdod, and that's even closer to the south. Even there, people were at the beach enjoying life, and we had a great meeting uh, and conferencing and time together. So even there, just very peaceful, and that's 
35 miles from Gaza. And so even even that close, um, I just said... Actually, actually, it's 35 kilometers. Kilometer. It's about 20 miles. 20, 20 miles? 20 miles. So 35, that's right, because it's kilometers here. So even that, but it's very, very peaceful. Um, listen, we're not going to get out of this earth without conflict. We're not going to make it out without conflict. We, we need to know how to handle it, and we need to know how to take advantage when the moments are, arise. So obviously, prayerfully, we came prayerfully, but we, we felt God say, go, go, go right now. So I think it's a very strategic time. Well, let's keep walking. Yeah. And, and it's amazing that we're walking once again, downtown Jerusalem. Yes. Ben mm -hmm. Street. This is June. Yeah, this is June. Yes. Uh, very hot, but today is actually nice. Yes. <laughs> very nice. It's weather. Yes. And I want to tell you, uh, you know, during the war, uh, I feel actually a really special atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Because reading the Bible, the Bible speaks to two nations. Yes. To, like we say, Gentiles, nations, brothers like yourself. Uh, comfort, comfort, my people, says the Lord. Right. And uh, that's what we see when you come. Uh, God gives everyone who comes right now in this place. I know the spirit of comfort is just an atmosphere. Yeah. And uh, you guys, you friends, are talking, speaking life, uh, speaking encouragement, speaking you know blessings. So it's really a spirit of comfort. Uh, so and it's part of a uh, you know, book of book of uh, Isaiah. You know, it's part of our ministry. And Jesus was great comfort. You, Holy Spirit is the comforter, right? Right. But also specific prophecies about comfort in Israel that are very powerful. Yeah. So uh, praise the Lord. Yes. And thank you for coming. We're excited to be here. Yeah. I want to use this opportunity and say, uh, if God speak to you, don't hesitate. Yes. Uh, actually, I would say, just come. Yes. Just come and speak to local people. Yes. So people of Israel, God for them. You know, you will have more opportunities than normally. But surely you have to obey Holy Spirit, whatever He says. Yes, uh, of course. Let's keep talking. Yeah. And um, last question. Yes. What is your highlight? Like being here in Jerusalem this time. It's third time, right? Is it third time? Third time. Third time. What is your highlight this time? My highlight this time. What? Well, okay. So <clears throat> I have many, but I, I I'd have to say one of them. Yeah. <laughs> one of them. I'd have to say meeting, being at your church, your congregation. And being amongst your team, seeing the passion and seeing the spirit of excellence that is on that house. Such an excellent house. I really enjoyed that and the spirit that's in that place. And there were other people from around the world there and are conferencing and people just attracted to it. To me, that was very special to me to see what God is doing here. Uh, it touches me deeply when I see, uh, really, we're not all from the same nation, but in the kingdom we're family. And so it just felt like a family environment. I felt like I've known you already for years. Um, so I would say that was probably just spiritually speaking, that was one of my highlights. Other than that, being in the, being in the old city, we, we went by many of the sites and I've, I'm driving in Israel this time. So I get so, so, so. What, what is it? I'm driving. I'm, I'm half Israeli now because <laughs> I'm now driving around the streets myself. Uh, you know, it was amazing. It was an amazing experience altogether. Meaning wonderful. Um, no, no accidents. No. Some tickets. One parking ticket, but that was me learning the culture. So I count it as a learning lesson. <laughs> okay, guys. So we bless you from the from Jerusalem. Yeah. You know, walking the streets of Jerusalem, experiencing uh, the presence of the Holy Spirit. You know, the spirit of comfort yeah. and life, just life in the middle of darkness, in the midst of all this war, tribulations. Uh, God is moving. His kingdom is going to prevail. So we're going to see, uh, we're going to spread, gospel going to spread, we're going to see more and more miracles, wonders. So thank you for your prayers, for your support, and uh, Pastor Mike, thank you for your visit. You're yep. such a blessing. Yes, sir. God bless.